Now that the deadline for this 90-day vlogging project is coming closer, I wanted to give a bit of an overview of what it is that I used to produce these videos. consumers directly with producers in the food market so local farmers directly deliver to the end consumer lots of specialty food lots of great food fresh food it typically takes less than 48 hours from when the food is still a plant to when it's delivered to the customer which is far far less than if you buy something through a supermarket so i just got done with the farmy board meeting and now i'm headed back to rapperswil where i have to get a bit more work done a couple more calls with the west coast and then also take time to talk about this flogging equipment now that the deadline for this 90-day flogging project is coming closer i wanted to give a bit of an overview of what it is that i used to produce these videos as i've been asked a few times and then maybe also talk a bit about what lies ahead So I am finally back. It's about 11 p.m. As the vlog experiment is coming closer to its end, or uh, let's say the first 91 days are coming to a close, one question that I've often got was, how do you film this? What's the equipment you're using? And so that's what I want to focus on today and give you guys uh, some insights. For that, I had, of course, fun. a mirror. Here we go. This is the rig that I'm usually talking to when you guys see me talk to the camera. To go from bottom to top, this is a Joby Gorilla Pot 5K. It has these extra arms here. On these arms, on one side, I have an Amaran ALM9 light. It's an LED light. Um, it has nine levels of brightness. It can actually go pretty bright. And I use one that has kind of like sunlight temperature. And I use one with a filter on it uh, that I usually use in the dark. Sometimes I use both of them to light both sides of my face. On the other side, we have a GoPro Hero 5 Black. I opted to get the Hero 5 instead of the Hero 6, just because the only difference really is is how much you're paying for it, whether it does 4K slow-mo or not. And as I'm shooting everything in full HD, not 4K anyway, this was the kit to go with for me. The centerpiece is a Canon EOS 77D camera. I did quite a bit of research. I like the Sony cameras, but unfortunately didn't offer a flip screen. I have a screen where I can actually turn it around and I can see how I'm framing the current shot. So that's what I typically use when I'm filming myself to make sure that my face is in the picture. And then I'm using it with a Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Continuing here, this is a road mic go it's a mono mic i'm using it with a dead cat just to make sure the sound is good even if there's a bit of wind i have a second light up here and then i have a hot shoe splitter so i can have the mic and the extra light fixed on the camera the way i count this i almost got back to 64 items on my list i have one item here so that's one two three four five six items that's the way i count it and um, of course there's various accessories like the sd cards and stuff like that but in general it's it's uh, six items in total in terms of cost i might not get this 100% right but just to give you an idea the lights here are typically I think they're about 45 US dollars so that's about 90 US dollars together the mic here is about 70 US dollars the camera I think is around 800 US dollars plus the lens of about 250 US dollars the GoPro with case is I think about 400 US dollars and then last but not least the tripod is about 150 US dollars all in all I did not count I might completely butcher this but I think it's somewhere in the range of 2000 dollars the whole kit which currently makes about 20 percent of the value of all the physical things that i own all right i hope that clarifies some of the questions that you guys had we edit the movies in adobe premiere pro and we typically use google drive or dropbox to save the files and exchange them that's it if you guys have any questions let me know as always and with that i'll talk to you guys tomorrow <laughs> 